looks amazing. This is so cool. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Michael, and my dad. <laughs> Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit dangerous. And it involves fire. <laughs> but will it burn is what it's called. It's a science kit. We're gonna be testing out some different things to see what happens when you put fire to them. The first thing we have to make sure we don't catch on fire is Michael's hair, because it's kind of shaggy. Not as long as your lay hairs. Oh, oh, very funny. <laughs> Lots of cool things, igniting iron. Wait, I think I know why I'm here. I think it's because you're under the age of 10, so you need the supervision Oh, me. could be, could be, good point. Yeah. If you're an adult and you're under the age of 10, however that works. There we go, lots of cool stuff in here. It says igniting iron. Do you think we could light metal on fire and it'll burn? Yes. Do? Yes, that Well, has we're to gonna be find oxygen. out. Here's some more metal. That's a foil Ooh. here. There's two different experiments we're doing today. One is fire foam. We're gonna ignite some hydrogen soap bubbles. And the second one is igniting iron. So, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Do you think the iron's gonna catch on fire? It's yeah. metal. Well, okay, well, we'll, we'll yeah. find out. If you fluff it up and get if some oxygen up. inside of it, then that could make it um, catch on fire. Let's find out, let's do that one first. Igniting <laughs> iron. Safety first. Actually, of course, yep. Yeah. We have to look nerdy and more scientific. Let's get this I'm on. a scientist. <laughs> First things first, we always have to be safe, so we're wearing goggles. And gloves. Oh, you got the adult-sized gloves. Yeah. The kit does come with small gloves. These are your size, Michael. Do you want to wear these? Uh, sure. Okay, so you put those on. I'll use these for part of it, maybe in the second I'm experiment. I'm going to be like one of those. Um, I'm going to be a dentist. Cause... A dentist, there you go. Yeah. So here I have an iron nail. Now, Michael, do you think this nail is going to catch on fire if I light it? No. Let's find out. Okay, now the, the nail is going to get very hot. might even turn black a little bit, but I don't think it's going to catch on fire. If you applied enough heat, you might actually melt it. But, but that, that would have to be, be like, like 2,000 degrees or something. At least that like be lava. Because really lava is like, fresh lava is around 2,000 degrees. Okay, now Michael, I want you to touch not the nail. Touch right here. Tell me if it feels hot. Not really, right? If we were to heat up, but the closer you get to the nail, it starts to feel warmer, right? Some of the heat transfer from the nail. So here it is, the nail did not catch on fire. Real exciting, right? Yeah. Now we're gonna try this. Same stuff. This is made of iron. We're gonna do this a few different times. Kit comes with three of them. We're gonna do it once in the light. We're also gonna do it in the dark. The kit comes with a splint, which you can use to light things. I'm just gonna use a lighter and actually have something else we could use. Ooh. This does not come with the kit, it's a battery. We're gonna see if we can light this on fire with a battery. First, we'll do a regular lighter. You wanna fluff that up? Yes, I'm a doctor. <laughs> We're gonna put down a little piece of aluminum foil there. Just give another extra layer of protection. So why are you fluffing it up, Michael? So there could be oxygen in it, and so the fire can light on the iron. Yep. There's nothing mixed in with this iron. This is pure metal, just like the nail. It's metal, but the difference is it's fluffed up and has <coughs> oxygen inside. Yeah. Ooh, Whoa. look at it. It's so cool that you can It's like it. chasing around. It's like a lightning strike, but a lot slower and orange. It looks like fireflies. It seems like we need to fluff it up a little more, but first let's make sure it's not hot. All right, that's probably good. So why do you think it cooled off so quickly, Michael? Um, I don't know. It's because the air is in it, right? The oxygen, it's spread out. We're talking about fine, tiny little pieces of metal. They'll cool off quickly because they're completely surrounded by oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen. All the molecules in the air, right? Which are colder, right? It's 74 degrees in here. The metal was warmer, but it quickly cooled off. Okay, here we go. Attempt two. Now, we're gonna try with a battery. You think it's gonna work? 
Okay, we clearly did something wrong. Didn't work. Uh, maybe because it's been worn out too much. Okay, we, we can try it on a new piece. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, new piece of wool. Here we go. Fluff, 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 fluff. When I say wool, I mean iron wool. Okay, what do you think, Michael? You think the battery's gonna do it this time? Uh, yeah. I believe it in the battery. Okay. Mm -hmm. You the can see how this one is a lot darker because as the fire goes, it's like this, the brightness, and then the fire is the darkness, and it's taking over. Mm -hmm. It gets darker as the fire spreads. Yep, it's oxidizing. This actually weighs more now that we let it on fire than it did before. Usually the mass of things goes down, like if you light a cotton ball or think about a candle, it gets shorter, a match gets shorter. But this, if we were to weigh this, and then burn it and then weigh it again, it would actually weigh more. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's because it's grabbing the oxygen atoms out of the air. And so the weight, the atomic weight of those oxygen atoms is causing the whole thing to weigh more. Yeah. So that's kind of interesting. So we'll see if we're lucky getting the battery to work. Could I do it? Go for it. <laughs> is it gonna... Oh, it worked! Oh, it's working! Wow, look at that! Whoa, it did that work. That looks way better than the first time. Amazing. Wow, look at it. It's like ants crawling around. They're all falling paths. It's like worms. Yeah, it smells, smells like a fire. Like a burnt, something really burnt. Like popcorn. Burnt popcorn. Okay, so if you're wondering how in the world we use a 9-volt battery to catch this iron wall on fire, here's what's going on. This completes a circuit. So from this terminal to that terminal. The little iron hairs are completing a circuit. It's highly conductive iron, and it's reacting with the oxygen um, in the air. So what happens is this sends a charge through, and then the charge as it passes through the iron heats up the iron. And so that reaction it has with the oxygen as it heats up and gets really hot, makes it turn into fire and light up. Now it's time to go do it in the dark. We're in my kitchen pantry and it's really dark. So when I close the door, it's going to be even darker. And I've already fluffed up the iron wool, so we're ready to go. It made a spark. Whoa, it's totally working. Whoa. That looks amazing. This is so cool. Oh, it's hot. It's like a fire pit and it's warming up my hands. I love the direction they travel. They kind of move in these yeah. squiggly lines like snakes or worms or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's like crawling lava. They're like, if you step in an ant hill, and all the ants come out and this is what it's like. But they're all fire ants, like this. <laughs> wow, this one's going longer than any of the other ones. Wasn't that so cool? And I did it all with just a battery. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching us ignite iron and let us know in the comments if you want to try it at home also. Mm -hmm. It's once again, it's from this Mel Chemistry, but will it burn, okay? And I know I mentioned we were going to be doing the fire foam, which is going to be amazing. It's going to have even bigger fire than you just saw there. It's yeah. supposed to have a big reaction, okay? Because we're going to be igniting hydrogen soap bubbles. So that's gonna be really cool. So stay tuned for that video. We are gonna do that in a separate video. I know at the beginning of the video, I say we're gonna do both, but this was so cool. It deserves its own video. And this is gonna be so cool. So I think this one is gonna deserve its own video as well. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.